um, continuing on with this German banjo clock. I got the uh, uh, dial cleaned up pretty good with that brand way cleaner. And uh, now I'm going to put the movement back in. Of course, the, uh, this wheel goes in first. But you want to line up the minute wheel arbor and the winding hole with its perspective sections. And now that it's lined up, I could take those tapered pins and put this uh, put this back together. So that's what I'm going to do now, off camera. I have all the pins in, but remember I told you it was missing one? Um, I highly suggest that you put one there. That way it doesn't cause bind on the movement. Uh, you could take a, uh, a piece of wire that's small enough. If you don't fit in there, grind it down. Take a nail, grind it down. Or you can have a stock of pens on hand like I do. And you can put a pen where it's supposed to have a pen. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now these pens that I bought were made in India. They're not the best of tapered pens. But they will work. And they will fit in that hole. And then I'll have to uh, bend it so it don't come out because it'll slide right through that hole and so I'm going to have to bend it so it doesn't come out and so it doesn't get caught up in the gears so I'm going to go ahead and do that now off camera so there I bent this pen so it's not getting caught up in those gears and it ain't coming out it would have been nice to have the original tapered pens, but I don't. Movement is still running, as it should. This is uh, the mechanism that speeds it up and slows it down. And uh, that's what you open that access door for, to speed it up and slow it down. Now it's time to uh, put these posts, screw them back into here, and then uh, put the movement back into the case. So that's what I'm going to do now off camera. And I also told you I had to clean up the door to get it opening better. I did wipe it off lubricated it just a little bit so now it's opening and closing this is the access door to speed up or slow down your clock and I could be wrong but I think these knurled nuts went on the outside of the clock instead of where they were so I'm gonna put the flat nuts on the inside to hold the movement to this brass housing and then I'm going to put the knurled nuts on the outside of the clock. Like I said I could be wrong but that's just what I'm going to do because I think it'll look nicer. It'll You can access it better
so it's about time to put this thing back into the case. What do y'all think? I think they look better. Easier to access. Uh, the movement, uh, you can tighten and loosen those with your finger. Time to put the hands on and then uh, wind it up and put it on the wall and check it for accuracy in a few days. And if it's running too fast, open that access door and turn it to uh, the piece to the uh, right because that's where it says negative if it's running too slow open the access door and turn it to the left because that's where it says positive and uh, some people might not know what I'm talking about so I'm going to access the access door And uh, this is the lever that you turn to the left or to the right. To the left will speed it up to the right by pushing this. Remember I showed you uh, when I had the movement out uh, to the right will slow it down. Pushing it to the left will speed it up. Of course, in my house, uh, fixing clocks can be a problem because I only work on them when I feel like it. But the problem is finding out where to put them afterwards because I have a bunch of clocks. Well, getting back to this clock, you could put the fans on either way you want. You could put the big section up here or put it down here. You can vice versa, but I like it like that. The clock is up and running. 1957 German banjo clock, uh, German style banjo clock. And that's what I like about clocks. The thing is older than me and still ticking away. I hope you all like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. And God bless.